The hammer module is used to simulate the force impact produced by the piano hammer when striking the fork of the piano. And it's got three main parameters that are modeled here. We have the stiffness parameter over here, then the noise parameter over here, and the force parameter over here. So let's start with the stiffness knob. It determines if the hammer is soft or hard, and that's related to the material of the hammer. So as this knob is turned up, the hammer gets harder. So I'm gonna play you a little region here now, and it's got all even velocities, just so that's not influencing anything. And we'll play it for you just as is with the stiffness where it is now at the default setting in this preset. So nice and even. Now, as we dial the stiffness up, the excitation signal becomes narrower, which reduces the interaction time between the hammer and the fork. So in other words, the harder the hammer, the more rapidly it bounces after the impact. So we can hear that as I dial it up, there's a little bit of a bounce at the end of each note. You hear that bouncing off of each note. Here it's very soft. Now we can modulate the value of this stiffness setting either by the note range using the key modulation knob or by velocity. So let's look at the key modulation knob. Basically, the more you turn it to the right, the hammer will become stiffer as the notes played on the keyboard get higher. So let me dial this up and I'll leave the stiffness at around where it is now. Maybe I'll lower it a little bit. And I'll play it for you as is, just so you can hear what it's like with a neutral kind of key tracking. Now as I dial it up, you'll hear that the notes get stiffer as they're higher. And now let's say I'll put the stiffness up a little bit here just to demonstrate it in the opposite direction. I'll put this down to about nine o'clock and you'll hear that notes are stiffer down low and softer up high, the opposite. So you had a lot of range of expression with this stiffness knob and modulate it over the key range. Now we can also modulate based on velocity. These are all at the same velocities. I'm gonna to switch to another region here and I've got different phrases played where there's a group of notes fairly quiet, then a group of notes loud, a group quiet, a group loud. You can see velocities represented here. So the velocity knob controls the stiffness of the hammer based on velocity. So as we turn it up, it causes the hammer to become softer as we play harder on the keyboard and stiffer as we play softly. So let me demonstrate. I'm gonna set the key tracking to neutral here. I'm gonna double click it and snap it up to the top so that's not gonna affect much. And I'll put this at neutral as well at around 12 o'clock. So it's a fairly neutral kind of setting. And I'll play with the velocity neutral for now just so we can hear what this phrase sounds like unaffected. Now I'm gonna dial the velocity up to about three o'clock and you'll hear that the accented notes are softer. So there's not that much discrepancy between the softer and louder velocities. Now as I dial it in the opposite direction, we'll hear the opposite, the accents are harder now. All right, now the next knob over here is the force knob, and this adjusts the amplitude of the impact of the hammer on the fork. So when we dial it to the left, the impact is very soft, and as we dial it up, the impact is gonna get stronger. Now let me switch back to this first region where all the velocities are neutral, again, just so that's not influencing anything. And I'm just gonna initialize the preset here, so we're back to the default settings. And I'm gonna play this region with the neutral velocities, and I'm gonna demo it by moving the knob gradually left and right, and you'll hear 
the influence of this. So I didn't even go through the full range. You can hear there's a wide range of effect that this control has. Now the strength of the impact can be modulated, again, with pitch via the key tracking or its velocity. So just to show you how the key tracking works, I'll put this up a little bit. And if I put the key tracking in the negative territory, let's say around nine o'clock like that, the low notes are gonna be louder and the higher notes quieter. And as you guessed, we can get the opposite effect by dialing this up. Now the low notes will be quieter and the high notes louder, which is a little bit more natural sounding. So with a little bit of that, maybe around one o'clock, we can get a nice natural effect. And we can also have this respond to incoming velocity. So let me again move to my other example with the varied velocities. And I'll just set this to a fairly neutral setting, maybe around there. And here, again, you'll hear as I dial velocity into positive range and then negative, the influence that that has over the force control. We'll start with it down low. So they're pretty even. So we can get some nice bite and growl with the velocity tracking here by dialing it up a bit. So when we play a bit harder, we'll get a bit more impact. So again, subtle amounts of these, maybe like that and like that, can give a really natural effect. Now the noise knob is used to control the amount of noise that's generated during the impact between the hammer and the fork. So this is a really detailed nuance that can add a lot of realism. Turning the knob up increases the amplitude or the volume of this noise. So let me just initialize this preset again. And I'm gonna move back to my first region. And we'll have all the neutral velocities here, so we're not gonna be influenced by that. And you'll hear that as I dial this up, we'll hear the noise increase. Now we can control the noise more with these controls. The pitch knob determines the center frequency of the noise. So as we turn it up, it increases the center frequency. So there's a lot of range for a nice creative sound design. The decay knob adjusts the time taken by the noise signal to fade out. So you can get some dramatic effects. Low decay values are pretty natural sounding and it's a nice subtlety to add in to the sound. Now finally, we have the key knob over here and that's used to modulate the amount of noise depending on the pitch of the notes played on the keyboard. So when we turn it to the left, there's more noise for the low notes than the high notes. And as we turn it to the right, we have the opposite. And let's listen to that. I'll dial this up so we can really hear the noise more dramatically. So we're really having a lot of noise introduced in the upper register. I think low amounts like that, a nice short decay, and maybe a darker kind of pitch is pretty natural and adds a nice nuance to the sound. And this control, the noise knob, can be adjusted from the play view since that's one of the predominant sound shaping parameters of the whole hammer mechanism. So that's the hammer module.